from the San City Sports, folks, on this Friday. Very excited, folks. My brother, Dwayne King, is going to be on this show. Exciting stuff. He's going to talk to us about this Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan debate, and also the Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton debate. Stay tuned. Yes, indeed, folks. As I said, my brother, Dwayne King, in the building, we need to discuss this Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan situation. He has some takes. Dwayne, you kind of... I'm, I'm going to let you tell. What is your situation? Because I've been on the record, folks. John Stockton all day. Okay? He, he, he's of a different mindset. But I'm, I'm a John Stockton, man. Where do you fall in this whole Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan situation? And also Isaiah Thomas and John Stockton. So, one, first off, we can't take away back-to-back champion finals MVP. Okay? Yeah, back-to-back championships. Back-to-back champion finals MVP. John Stockton, there's no disregards to John Stockton. Amazing point guard, him and Carl Malone, great duo. But when it comes to champions, champion mindset, it's Isaiah Thomas every single time. He does have the two rings. Two, and my man has a national championship as well. Indiana. So my man is a winner. Now, I I don't want to sound like a huge Isaiah buff because I am not by any means. You spend facts. So I am just talking off of pure facts. And the fact that he was left off the dream team, I can understand chemistry is huge. Indeed. If you want to breed a championship team, people don't understand. Yes, you could have a team of all-stars, but with no chemistry, it's going to be some problems. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, you and that. Talent-wise, I agree that Isaiah Thomas should have definitely been on that dream team. The issues with NJ hold him, held him back. I feel that is wrong. Now, so that's one thing. I think we're both in agreement. Should have been on the squad. Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton. I need, I need a little bit more. Just in conclusion, hi, hi, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. is Isaiah Thomas better? Is it close? What do you think on that? Isaiah Thomas is better. Next question. No, it, 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 just, it is what it is. You, you, we don't even need to get too deep. It's just... Uh, Isaiah Thomas is better. We have two championships. We got a finals MVP. My man had shined when the lights were on. Stockton, you were in the finals. I'm sorry. Jordan took your life. It's uh. just, that's the way... Oh, okay, the take is for... I'm kind of flabbergasted. I'm not even going to come back because this is his segment. But it's basically on a level of... It's just straight facts. Isaiah Thomas better than John Stockton, and, and we just keep it moving. Yep. I like it. I like it. To the business, folks have had questions about Bill Belichick's draft, but the people in Las Vegas seem to think he is the odds-on favorite for Coach of the Year. Love this reporting. Belichick, odds-on favorite for Coach of the Year. Joe Burrow, odds-on favorite for Rookie of the Year. Can't speak too much about Burrow. But in terms of Bill, I have made it clear many a times that's who my money's on in this split between the two Bs, Belichick and Brady. Folks in Las Vegas seem to agree. Continuing, UFC, Dana White ready to go. Three cards fully stacked up. We'll get that for you on the screen. Point of fact is Florida is having three events, segment of time in May, ready to go. I'm optimistic and hopeful. He's been Believe that Dana White can get the job done and deliver entertaining and safe events. That's my take. Nonetheless, uh, people have to write their opinion. We have a lawyer in Florida who had some interesting, maybe outstanding takes showing up at the beach in his Grim Reaper suit. Hey, he can believe how he wants to believe. You know, I'm a little bit more optimistic. That's the stance he's taking. Point of fact, though, is this, folks. When we look at what's happening with professional leagues in Korea, professional leagues in England. I'm talking specifically about the Premier League, okay? These are all instructive, and no league has necessarily got up and running to the point of being functional broadcasting, so on and forth. We hope that is the case, but we had a lawyer in Florida that's a little bit pessimistic. In Korea, they're showing signs, but it's been a little bit difficult, and the Premier League, uh, in terms of soccer, is trying to get back on. Adam Silver in the NBA, learning from what's going on in these international leagues and forming their process, push back the draft and the combine. I agree with that 100%. Still optimistic about reopening. In conclusion, your boy Mike Tyson is 53. Hasn't slowed down a bit. Love the footage that I've seen from him. That's the swagger and attitude comps we need to have during this crisis. We'll see you next time, folks.